infinite technology. Thinking about upgrading to Windows 11? If your current Windows 10 PC meets the requirements, you don't need to spend money on a new computer. Windows 11 is free for Windows 10 users. Microsoft offers a few different ways to update Windows 10 to Windows 11. Not ready to make the switch permanently? No problem at all, you can always try Windows 11 for 90 days. For a permanent switch, though, you should be able to directly update your PC. If not, Microsoft offers an installation assistant, a media creation tool, and an ISO file for download. Just pick the method that works best for you. Upgrading to Windows 11 has been pretty confusing because Microsoft has some strict criteria you need to meet first. Check for compatibility. The best way to do this is to run Microsoft's PC Health Check tool. If you don't have it installed already, head over to Microsoft's PC Health Check support page to see the system requirements and download the tool. After you've installed the program, just hit the Check Now button in the app to see if you qualify. If your computer is good to go, you'll get a message saying your PC meets the Windows 11 requirements. Check for the update. Windows 11 has been accessible for some time as an update on compatible Windows 10 systems, so your next step should be to see if it's already available on your PC. In Windows 10, go to Settings Update and Security, Windows Update and click the Check for Updates button. If Windows 11 is waiting, you can then install it directly as an update. Download with the Installation Assistant. If Windows 11 isn't showing up as an update on your PC, no worries. You can still get it using Microsoft's Windows 11 Installation Assistant. Just head over to the Download Windows 11 page, click the Download Now button in the Windows 11 Installation Assistant section, and then run the Windows 11 Installation Assistant.x file. Easy peasy. Hit the Accept and Install button to upgrade your Windows 10 PC to Windows 11. You can keep using your PC while it downloads and installs. Once it's done, you'll need to restart your computer. You can either restart right away or let the 30-minute timer count down, giving you time to save any open files or documents. After your PC reboots, sign into Windows again. Once the final setup is complete, you're deposited at your new Windows 11 desktop. You could also try out Microsoft's Media Creation Tool. It's a cool program that helps you make installation stuff for the new OS. It's not just useful for updating your own PC, but also for getting the setup ready for other devices too. When you're on the Download Windows 11 page, just hit the Download Now button under the Create Windows 11 Installation Media part. After that, run the file you just downloaded, called MediaCreationTool.x. Agree to the terms, pick your language, and then choose which version of Windows 11 you want. You can either save the setup files to a USB drive or create an ISO file and burn it onto a disk if you prefer. If you're going with the USB option, just grab a flash drive with at least 8 gigs of space and stick it into your computer. The tool will do its thing, downloading all the Windows 11 stuff and putting it on the drive. Once that's done, just pop open the drive and double-click on the setup.x file to start the upgrade. If you decided to generate an ISO file instead, choose a location for the download and double-click the ISO file in File Explorer. Double-click the setup.x file inside the ISO file. Just hit Next to get Windows 11 to look for updates, then agree to the license terms. On the Ready to Install screen, you'll see that Windows 11 is about to be installed, and it'll keep all your personal stuff and apps. If you want to change that, just click Change. From there, you can choose to keep everything, keep only your personal files, or start fresh by deleting everything. Click Next, then select Install to run the upgrade. After your PC reboots, sign in to finish the setup. Depending on what you chose to keep, Windows may prompt you to customize your privacy settings. You're then taken to your Windows 11 desktop. Download a disk image. You can also choose a direct download of the Windows 11 ISO file. At the Download Windows 11 page, go to the Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO, section and select Windows 11 from the drop-down menu. Choose the product language, click Confirm, and then click the Download button to get the ISO file. Once you've downloaded it, just double-click on the ISO file, and then double-click on the setup.x file. Hit Next 
when you see the first install screen to make sure you get all the latest updates for Windows 11. When you reach the ready to install screen, it'll let you know that Windows 11 is ready to go and that your personal stuff like files and apps will be safe and sound. If you want to change these options, click change and switch to personal files only or nothing. Click next, then select install to run the upgrade. After your PC restarts, sign into Windows 11 to view your new operating system. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials.